Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right, I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. Hey YouTube, it's me LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm doing this video today because I um, do movie nights, and I did a video about movies and I got quite a few comments about dating because my title said um, movie night at my apartment or something like that. So I didn't say, you know, like I usually do, ooh, let's watch a movie on one of the apps for free because I'm always trying to save money. I'm a frugal minimalist. That's what I do. And so I guess they assumed I had a date. Hmm. Okay. Now. Uh, you know, only a little, uh, you know, YouTube is hard. It's, it's hard in a sense where you want to share certain things. You don't want to share other things. And, you know, that's your God-given right. You can do that because I, I am one of those people that feel like I'm honest and truthful and authentic. And I tell you everything that I say I'm going to tell you. But certain things I do keep to myself because they private. And I've said I've said this million times before that you have to protect your heart. And uh, uh, and some of those things that people ask, I just don't answer them because I get questions and stuff. And I haven't done a Q&A in a while, but I just do what makes me feel okay and safe. Uh, this is a real simple one. They asking about me dating. Okay, so by the time I did this, do this video, I'm 54 years old. Okay, so I've been married and uh, for all my life up until, let me see, 2015, it's 2004. I got divorced in 2015, nine years ago. Okay, and that's part of my story. Um, I love my husband. We got divorced, period. Now, sometime in between, um, when I was dating, I had, his name was Paul. He was absolutely wonderful. Um, he uh, went to the same church that I went to. We shared the same ideals and our lives together. He was a widower and I was a divorcee. And we both were living our lives celibate but we care for each other so i dated him for quite some some time and then he wanted to marry me and i just i don't want to be married anymore i just been i was with my husband all my life so what i decided after all my therapies and everything that i had to do to get myself back to where i was is is that I had to say, okay, it's not your fault. It's a combination of you and him. Things didn't work out. You know, I had a problem with the stigma at the church. I had a problem with my own ideals of what it should have been. So for me, it was a, a, a hard situation. And I didn't want to get back into that. Now, yeah, I could have married Paul. He was a wonderful man, took great care of me. But 
I had to live in my alone time, in my singleness, to try to figure out if I was even capable of living alone again. And I know that sounds um, maybe a little harsh for some people, but this is me. I'm speaking first person. You have to remember, I have not been alone uh, for most of my life. I shared a bedroom with two sisters up until the time that I went. Oh, it was before I went in the Navy. They bought my mother and father bought their first house. But up until like 15, all three of us was in one room. And by then, my daughter had a son, so he was in the room with us, too. I had never had anything alone. I joined the Navy, and when I joined the Navy, you don't get your own room, not as an E-Zero. So it was two of us in one room and one barrack and the other barrack. I think I had three. It just was, I had nothing, nothing, nothing. And then I uh, moved down in town and then realized that that place was so expensive, I needed a roommate. I might as well stay on base for free. So I never had no alone time. And then I started dating. And when I started dating, that was it. Before I knew it, I was married with children and it was somebody every day. And that's including the bathroom when you got a child on your leg, okay? Y'all know what I'm talking about. We supposed to be talking about dating. But that was my dating season, was back in the 90s. So my thing is, if it, if it ain't fixed, you ain't got to try to fix it. If it, if it. What's the word? Don't try to fix it if it ain't broke. And I simply just am happy and peaceful. Now, who's to say that I might not find somebody? Every time I go in Publix, I don't know. Uh, uh, I either get hit on or I get somebody who will say to me, uh, don't I know you? And try to, you know, the conversation and things like that. I don't even know what a pickup line is. I don't know how to date. I went through the whole era married and I am celibate anyway. And I'm not finna go into discussion about that to somebody new that's coming along. That's part of me and God and our and the stuff that we do and how I talk to him every day. That's just my, what I do. You make your own choice, your body, your life, and you decide what you want to do. Now, uh, it's apps out there for dating and stuff. Um, my kids have brought it up to me before. Uh, I don't know, I'm 54. I'm gonna turn 55 and my thing is, I feel better every day. If my L's, you know, the stuff I got going on with my body, when they don't flare, I'm good. And But I like to, I like a long time. I like to journal. I like to go for walks. Some of those things are difficult at this stage with what's going on with me. But I just don't want to start over and have to explain every single thing, every mark on my body, every deformity or whatever. I love myself. I finally came to a place where I developed my own self-esteem, self-care, self-love. And that has sustained me. Part of my affirmations sustain me. Living alone sustains me. And having peace. Now that's all the way up here. That's Peace is all the way up here. I have found peace. Now, I can't bottle it up and sell it for $9.95, but I got it in my heart. So I wake up stress-free about living alone. That's stress-free. Now, if I wake up in pain, that's, that's irrelevant. I'm talking about the fact that I don't have to walk on eggshells and scared to say this and scared to say that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a really difficult thing. But when you go through a divorce and then you up and moving around again, you have to say to yourself, I'm beautiful, I'm phenomenal, I'm a wonderful woman. And the man that I was with just wasn't worthy to be with me. Okay, that's what I said. Because things would have worked out. But they didn't. You see what I'm saying? So why should you fight 
for the um to be with somebody who don't see just how valuable you are. The minute I got with Paul, boom, he knew just how valuable I was, how smart, intelligent I was. I was all like this when I married him. I mean, when I met him, because my marriage made me think that I wasn't very smart or anything. So I think what happens is you lose yourself sometimes, not just in a marriage, but I'm talking about dating. So if you choose to date in this day and age, more power to you is people meeting their husbands and wives on apps. God bless you all. And if it works for you, keep doing it. For me, just so you know, the people who sent me emails, the people that sent me questions, no, I am not dating. I am peaceful and I'm very much content with being single and alone. But remember, alone does not mean lonely. Does not mean lonely. It means I choose to live by myself. I choose to be alone. I choose to be single. I choose to be celibate. And I choose to be a Christian. That's my choices. And that's all I will tell you. Okay? Ah! <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. No more chatty chatty. It's time for us to breathe in and breathe out so that we can get our day started. You ready? Breathe in, breathe out. We thank you, Father. We thank you for another day, Father God. We are so grateful for this day. We are so glad you woke us up today, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for my three children, for Elijah and Lyric and Patrick, Father God. Thank you for holding on to my children, Father God. Thank you for leading their steps, Father God. Thank you for getting that burden that was on my shoulder, worrying about my children, Father God. It's all gone. I know you got my children wrapped up just like you got me. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you for this YouTube channel. And I thank all of you for coming here today. And if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But more than that, you have to click that bell so you're notified every single time I come out with a video. Okay? So, that's it. That's all I got for you. Remember, treat people with respect. Treat people with dignity and be kind and considerate to everyone you meet because you don't know what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? So have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon.